morning, Grace Lutheran Church. Happy Sunday. It is so good to be with you again. Today, I'm going to start our Sunday School lesson by telling you a story about a time when I tried something new. Um, I was very young and learning how to ride a bicycle. Now, this wasn't just learning how to ride a bicycle like two wheels, but I was trying to learn how to best ride my bike with training wheels. I live on a block that has a big hill at the top um, and my house is down at the bottom of the hill. And so I remember this day I was with one of my best friends at the time and we convinced ourselves that we were going to, in order to learn how to ride our bikes with even with training wheels, we were going to ride down the big hill. And so we marched with our bikes up to the top of the hill. And once we got to the top of the hill, it was time to go back down again. Um, and I don't really remember much in between, but I do remember going down. And I remember as I was going down on my little bike, I would lean on one training wheel and then I'd lean on the other. And then, you know, at times it felt like they were both flying up on the edge and that I really wasn't getting much help from these training wheels at all. Uh, and before I knew it, I was, the bike had fallen over and I had big scrapes and the rubber on my training wheel, I remember rolling out into the street. So I had just tried something new and it was very challenging. It was scary. I didn't really know what to do and I kind of got hurt. Um, don't worry, I was wearing a helmet and um, my bruises and my um, rashes from the cement were quickly attended to by my family. Um, I had to wear band-aids for a while because I had some road rash. But I turned out to be okay. And I think that's because I had someone who was helping me, who was looking over me. Um, when I yelled out for help, my mom and dad were there to come and help. And also my friend who was along um, to carry me back to the house and make sure that I got the care that I needed. I'm wondering if you have ever had a time like this. Maybe it's not as intense as mine, falling off of your bicycle when you're learning how to ride it. But maybe you had a time where you were trying something new and you were scared. Or maybe you have a common fear, like you're afraid of the dark and that's okay. And you know that if you call out, someone will come to you. Whatever your fear is, whatever new challenge you are trying, or if ever you felt stuck in a challenge, like you're trying this math problem or you're trying to read this book or learn how to spell this word and you feel stuck. Um, tell your family a time that you've experienced that. And then I want you to reflect even further. Have you called out? Have you asked for help in those situations? Who did you call out to? And did they help you? And how did they help you? Talk about this with your family now. In today's Bible lesson, Jesus is teaching and he is teaching a group of uh, religious leaders and he's talking about the way to heaven. And Jesus says, I'm the way to heaven. Um, but these folks who are gathered to listen to Jesus, they're getting really confused and they don't really understand what it is that Jesus is talking about. And so Jesus tells the story about how he is the shepherd to some sheep, kind of like how when we were in need, maybe we had gotten hurt or we were scared or we got stuck on some sort of school project and we called out, someone came to help us. So this is sort of the analogy that Jesus is making in our Bible story today. But before we read it in our Spark Story Bible, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Remind us in our time of need that you are always with us. Remind us that we can ask others for help. Amen. All right, now is the time to pick up your Spark Story Bible and open it to page 436. We'll read together 
the Good Shepherd story. And every time that you see a sheep on the screen, I want you to say, bah. Okay, so let's practice. Sheep, bah. Very good. Very, very good. Let's begin. Jesus wanted people to know that he would always love them and take care of them. He called himself the Good Shepherd and told people that they were like sheep. Bah! Some people didn't understand, so Jesus told them this story. The little lamb was lost. Bah! said the little lamb. Bah! The sun slowly slid out of sight. The little lamb shivered in the cold night air. Bah! He smelled danger. Nearby, a hungry wolf hid behind a thorny bush. Cried the little lamb. Down in the valley, a shepherd guarded his flock of sheep, watching and listening. The animal slept peacefully in the cool green grass. A small stream delicately danced in the evening breeze. A gust of wind swept across the valley. The shepherd paused. He heard it in the distance. You can be louder than that. He knew the voice of his little lamb. Even though it was dark, the shepherd started up the rocky path that led toward the lost lamb. Don't be afraid, the shepherd called out. I will find you. I will keep you safe. The little lamb heard the shepherd's voice. Slowly, he stumbled down the path. A branch scraped his leg. <gasps> he cried. The little lamb was scared. He waited for the shepherd to find him. He said, When the shepherd reached the lamb, he gently picked him up and held him close. There you are, he said. I have found you. I will carry you home. After he told this story, Jesus said, See, I am the shepherd too. Just like a good shepherd cares for each and every sheep in the flock, I care for each and every one of you. Very good. Thank you for reading in that way. It is a good reminder, especially now when each day is a little new and different, to remember that Jesus is the Good Shepherd, that Jesus is looking after us, and protecting us, and keeping us safe. And so we say, thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you all for tuning in for this Sunday School lesson. Please check out all of the activities um, that are either posted in the Facebook message or are part of this greater email. Thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next time.